not stupid. We're not even gonna put that in the video. Get off my ass, man. Really in sixth already? All right, what up, YouTube? This is uh, first video on the channel. I've done this intro like four times already, but people keep distracting me. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm Rogue CBR. This is uh, this is Callie. She's a sweetheart with an evil side. So for the for the first video, I thought I'd take us out to a uh, place place called Big Tree. It's, uh, it's, it's not any fancier than it sounds. It's a big tree. That's where we're going today. I thought I'd talk about something that kind of goes along with, you know, starting starting a moto vlog channel, I guess. Uh, the age-old question of what is the right size for a first-time rider? And, uh... Here we go. I'm a, uh, I'm a, a fairly new rider, I'd say, fairly new. This is my first bike, CBR 600RR. So, hello, watch out. So, first starting bike. I don't, I don't think that there's a universal bike. This is a good song. I'm super distracted right now. Uh, so, so I think the first, the, you know, I think the best bike to start on for everybody is it. It really depends on you. And I've seen a couple videos out here, out on YouTube about. You know, um, well, the 600 is too much power for a first-time rider. Or, you know, start on a 600 because you're going to get bored on a 250 or a 300 too easily. And then you're just going to, you know, you're only going to own that bike for a couple months before you're bored of it and you want to upgrade. So here here would be my advice to, uh, to new riders. It's all really... You know, you got to know yourself. You got to know kind of your limits. Whoa there, big fella. Uh, that was a stupid point. So I would say, blanking hard right now. If uh, if you're not if you're not used to being around motorized vehicles like you know dirt bikes, ATVs, other motorcycles, stuff like that, you've only ever driven cars, um, and you wouldn't exactly count yourself in as a. Uh, um, inclined mechanically or pick up things with motors easily I would say that your best bet is probably to start on a 250 or a 300 because I mean it's definitely different than your car now if you're someone like me who's grown up around dirt bikes four-wheelers you know you've always been really into cars and getting your hands dirty and you could consider yourself motor and mechanically inclined I would say that you could start on a 600 um, but see, what I did is I took I took a safety course, and there's a lot of benefits to the safety course other than them, you know, teaching you how to ride well and safely, and basically just giving you an understanding of how motorcycles work, um, what they feel like, you know, and then. Yeah, I mean, the safety courses really do help, and I learned a lot in mine. I mean, in the safety course, they'll walk you through basically everything you need to know to be a successful rider on the road. I mean, they teach you turning, how to lean the bike, what the bike feels like when it's leaning, what to watch out for, how to brake in a turn, how to brake in general, how to quick stop, which is an important thing that everybody needs to know if you're on two wheels. I mean, if you're on any wheels, really, you just need to know how to brake quickly. But, uh, but yeah, so I mean, they walk you through everything. They walk you through like how to do your clutch, how to actively find your clutch zone. I mean, it's just, it's just full of stuff that you need to know. This Dodge is making me look bad. Um, quick, uh, quick side note, funny story about this road right here. Uh, it's probably this this ride out to Big T or, uh, Big Tree is probably 20 20 minutes or so from my house. Like the whole ride just there is 20 minutes and then 20 minutes back. But I got off work late one night and me and a buddy decided to do a night ride and run out here real quick. You know, just for fun, shits and giggles, stuff like that. Oh, hello, feller, two wheel rider. Anyway, so. Uh, 
so we we run out here i mean it's like it's like probably midnight like it's dark and we run out here fine we get out here and realize it's cold as balls so we literally hit big tree turned around came right back didn't stop didn't hang out nothing like that and um coming back obviously as you guys seen it's not exactly the straightest road i mean it's no twisties by any means but i mean it's got a little curves to it but we came over the top of this hill that sat on a curve and there was a uh there's a possum sitting smack dab in the middle of the road and luckily i was hugging the center line and so i missed it but it scared the shit out of me but my buddy wasn't so lucky because when i flew by it it pushed it to the outside of the road where he was and he obliterated this possum at like 75 and man, we were fucking scraping guts and blood off the bottom of the headers and all over the undercarriage, out of the chain sprockets. It was it was a mess. And, uh, and then there was obviously one less possum in the world, so that's unfortunate for that possum. But you know, you know what they say, kids: don't play in the middle of the road. Or us, we'll be scraping you off the bottom of my buddy's headers. Oh, yeah. Alright, so directly ahead of us is Big Tree. That tree right there that's a pretty decent size, I guess, compared to all the other ones around it. That is what we uh, we call Big Tree. I did not come up with it. It's literally a big tree. I told you guys. We're not going to be impressed. But people spray paint it and deface the shit out of it and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't know have a reason why it, it's a big deal it's literally in the middle of nowhere maybe just for riders like me who just like to dick around and have a reason to go somewhere it's been on a hard hard 90s rap kick lately and I've been enjoying every single minute of it we're gonna we're gonna flip a bitch here like a glove. Oh, hip cramp. Watch out. All right. All right. Sorry, YouTube. We're ready. We're ready. So, yeah. That was a very stupid, stupid line. We're going to cut that part out, too. But people say, oh, if you're mechanically inclined, you're motorly, you know, not motorly. I guess that's not a word yet, but, or not. Yeah, I know. Fuck it. Ah, God damn it. Jesus Christ. This is, oh, my. Nah, nah. Ah! Oh, that did not sound good. So there's people out there that will argue that if you're if you're mechanically inclined and you pick things up with motors pretty quickly and like you know you've been around ATVs and sport bikes and dirt bikes and all sorts of that kind of stuff. There's people out there that will argue that those types of people can start on any bike they want to, whether it be a thousand or six hundred or something even bigger than that. And my response to that is obviously like if you've got the correct patience and discipline then yeah i mean you could probably start on anything you wanted to but god forbid something happens to it god damn i'm, I'm just putting along back here it's fucking hard-ons at home fuck it right and let me tell you guys the very first time that you feel comfortable leaning your bike over and you lean that bitch over and if you don't have an erection immediately after that you need to get off your bike. You just need to sell it. It's not for you. 